Welcome to another Zero tutorial. My name is Samuel Burmeister and I'm the owner here at Tallbooks. Today's topic is going to be around amending or adjusting pay runs, which is quite a common area that uh, people need to access as payroll can be quite finicky, employee data might not be available or may be incorrect at the time of processing the pay run. So it's important to know how to go in and ensure that your pay runs are correct. Um, I will note that don't use this as an excuse not to get all the information. Best practice is obviously getting everything you need in place, all information entered before processing a pay run. However, in the case that you need to amend a pay run, I'm going to show you two separate ways you can do this. So firstly, go into payroll and clicking on pay runs, you will see a list of any current drafts or any posted pay runs in Zero. What we'll see here is there's a draft pay run. So I'm going to remove that just so we can have an example of amending one. So this is the demo file. I'm just going to use this as the environment in which we demonstrate how to adjust the pay run. So let's say I've got a weekly pay here that was processed um, in October for week ending 14th of October, payment date 15th. I can view that information by clicking into the pay run and I can see two employees were included there. Now, let's say Tracy was meant to have hours in there. However, the person who processed the pay run made a mistake or maybe we didn't have Tracy's hours. So we'd only processed Odette's. You can amend a pay run. So by going to pay run options, you can select revert to draft and then select yes. Reverting to draft will not lose the information that you had previously. However, if it does anything and post it, it will override what you had there. So we're not going to touch Odette in this case. We're going to click into Tracy's instead. And you'll see, I could then go in and add in some information. Let's say 20 hours worked, save that, and then post my amended pay run. So in this example here, we're just simply adding something to an existing pay run that was missing. And we didn't want to create an extra pay run. Pay run. We just wanted to adjust the one that was already there. So I'll go back and you'll see now, when you look at the summary of this pay run, Tracy has information in there as well, and I can post that pay run. Yes. Now, what about if someone has been paid and something from their previous payments is incorrect. What you can do is a negative pay run or an adjustment pay run, and this can be done via an unscheduled pay run. You might also do this in the case where you need to do a one-off pay run that's not part of your standard calendar of fortnightly, weekly, or monthly. So instead of clicking into a previous pay run, we will select add pay run. And from these options, the last is always unscheduled pay run. Now, what you need to do with an unscheduled pay run is tell the system the dates and the calendars that it relates to. So for example, if I wanted to make an adjustment as of the weekly calendar that we were just looking at in the current financial year, and I could then go down and choose the relevant week. So I'm gonna say, I want this to apply to the 14th of October. Instead of amending the 14th, it will be an additional unscheduled pay run that will be created. I can then select which employees to include in this pay run, or I can choose from the included tab um, several options here, like include all. So just for this example here, let's put in Tracy. And then you can make adjustments. So you can put in negative earnings, you might add a, a tax adjustment. Maybe there's a super adjustment. Uh, another common one is leave adjustments. Maybe someone has been underpaid or overpaid leave. Well, what you could do is ensure everything else is set at zero and add a leave line to process extra leave. So why don't we go annual leave and let's say they were missing 20 hours. If I save this, we'll just remove the 
default one. So if I save that annual leave that we've just added, you can see an example of an unscheduled pay run being useful. We have had it highlighted that Tracy was underpaid leave in this situation. So we ran a, an unscheduled pay run with the missing hours. You'll note that it doesn't affect her earnings. It's simply going to update her accrual. So when you look at her leave details, Tracy now has 20 hours that she was meant to have been paid um, into her accrual, I guess. And that is an example of why you would use an unscheduled pay run. So just to recap that, I'll delete this. Whoa, the demo file is happy with us. We go back to the pay runs. If I want to amend a pay run, I will click into the pay run. And under pay run options, I will have the option there to select revert to draft, which is how you would amend a pay run. This one here, which you then post it after that. The other option is adding a pay run as an unscheduled pay run, selecting the date and calendar it applies to, and then processing that separately. And I'll just show you that one more time. So you click add pay run, unscheduled, then fill in the information.